All right, good morning. Today I'm going to work on diagnosing my problem that I have with my van. Um, let me just go through a little bit. I have a 2012 Mercedes Sprinter 2500. It has 200,000 miles on it. And the last time I changed the oil, I noticed some oil on the engine and was a little bit concerned. Um, first, let me back up. Not sure what fluid it was. If it is engine oil, um, power steering fluid, or what it was. But we went ahead and changed the oil, made sure that the filter was okay, it hadn't burned any oil, hadn't lost any oil, and um, cleaned the motor off. And I've driven it uh, quite a bit since then. And um, have been trying to diagnose what the problem is. I don't want to take it to some place and not know what's the matter, so um, I'm going to try to diagnose it. All right, we are finally in a location where I can do this. I have looked underneath it multiple times in parking lots and whatnot, but that is really not the place to do that. So we're going to get underneath here and I'm going to show you the leak. And first of all, you can see the drip right here, and that's why I made sure that this was tight, that I didn't have any issues with my oil pan, and I had cleaned all of this off and didn't see any oil originating from here. And so then I look up higher, and I have this part here, and I don't know what this part is, so there is a number on it, and if you have internet, you can look it up and or you can go to a parts store and ask them. And this is my air conditioner compressor, so it does not have anything that could leak out. So it is not from that. And originally I thought it was my power steering because you can see uh, this stuff is all really gunky. And that's what was like getting oily first. So I checked my power steering fluid level and it was fine. So it is not that. And then we examine this oil here. Let me get back out. And that looks like engine oil. So you can feel it, rub it in your fingers, smell it, taste it. Okay, no, I'm not going to taste it. Just kidding. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's engine oil, not power steering fluid. So I was just seeing a few drips on the ground when I would park. Nothing really major, but this engine is so hard to see up in it to see where the oil or this leak is originating from. And I really want to know because I want to know if it's something that's going to fail immediately or if I have time. So we're going to open up the hood and try to look from the top down. All right, so here was the power steering thing to check that, and that was okay, and there's not much fluid in that, so what I'm seeing everywhere else is too much for it to be that, and uh, so I'm going to use the camera to kind of look around in here. Like I said, a lot of the hoses, like this hose going to the radiator was pretty gooky, so that's why I was thinking, because it was on a hose, but I think that's just from when I'm driving um, all right, so this is the oil filter. Sorry, I'm in the shadow there. And we're going to try to look at, look at it more thoroughly because, um, I've looked at everything below it and there isn't anything, any kind of part that would have engine oil leaking out. So I am looking, I'm trying to look at the base of where there is a seal on my, um, bottom of my oil filter. All right, I'm going to try to get in here from a different angle. I noticed a little bit of something here and just trying to get down in there to see. All right, so I think we're getting somewhere. Um, I'm thinking it's originating from underneath the oil filter that there is a seal. I don't see any oil above that. There was nothing 
wrong with the oil filter area. Like I said, I had already changed the oil when I first saw this leak. And uh, so, you know, now you'd like either go to a parts store or you look up online to see what that part is. Pretty sure there is a seal and I'm not sure what the housing would be called. Uh, but like I said, there isn't any oil above that. It's all below it. And I'll put this down in here again. You can see the oil. It starts, you know, down there and uh, isn't anything up in this area. And when we look on the left side of the engine, there isn't any any oil over here. And if you don't know what a part is, if you can get a number or a picture, and like I said, you can either Google it if you have the internet or have a part store help you and see if that's the part that's failing. And the parts that I looked at in this area don't have any oil that would come out. So I am still looking at that seal at the bottom of where um, the oil filter and then it goes into the engine. And we're back underneath and that's going to be it up in there and I think that's why I have oil like on these hoses here you know in another way you could try to diagnose is to start up the engine after you've cleaned it off and watch for where the leak is um, I let it run for about 30 minutes and I didn't see anything and it's really dangerous being doing that there's lots of pulleys and I have hair and it's windy and stuff so I shut it right off and then looked and I didn't see anything and I had driven it two hours <laughs> and then you know try to find a place on the side of the road or pull over to try to figure out where it's coming from and I was just starting to see some up higher um, it wasn't on the oil pan so I knew it was starting from the top so we're starting to get kind of a diagnosis. Okay, so also I've been checking my oil level regularly to make sure it is not losing too much oil, and it has been fine. It hasn't lost enough, but I do notice that the leak is gradually getting worse, so it's not something I can just leave forever. But like I said, not in a position right now to do it. We are just going to be sitting for the next couple weeks and driving very minimum, so I think it's going to be okay. I constantly look underneath. I constantly look one after I've done driving or parking to make sure there is not a big puddle and there hasn't been and it's not a measurable quantitative amount of oil that has leaked out. So that's obviously going to mean that I'll have to have another oil change to be able to change that part. Filter oil, that whole part that seal. Um, I'll have to look it up to see if you can just get the seal, but you know, you probably have to have more than just that. Probably have to replace something else, but uh, we'll have to look into that, but we're getting closer. And at least now I know it's not a catastrophic failure. I'm not going to dump out all my oil on the highway and burn up the motor. That's pretty much what I'm you know, worried about mostly is what's failing, how bad is it, I'm in the middle of the desert, I'm not going to be able to fix it right here, uh, and like I said earlier, I don't want to go to a a shop and say, could you diagnose it without me knowing at all, I kind of would like, I like to know a little bit so I have an idea of how much it would cost or whatever, so what we're going to do with this is I will look up that part and get a cost on it and all that, but I am not in a position here <laughs> to uh, to fix it. So we are going to nurse it along until I am in a place that I can get that fixed and preferably not pay to have it done, preferably uh, just get the parts and do it that way. So we'll look up the part and uh, and see but um, I did ask some other people that had these and had the similar year, and this was something that uh, does fail after so long. So, you know, I start to get nervous. Is, the, is this the end of my van? You know, major head gasket going to blow? Or, you know, I, no, I think it's okay. I think it's just a minor thing. And like I said, it's got 200,000 miles on it, and I haven't broke down, officially broke down, <laughs> Uh, for more than a year, uh, I'm getting better and better at this, and uh, trust me, it's not easy, though. 
I do have problems all the time that I never even mention. My check engine light goes off and on a lot and I have learned how to read the codes and deal with it and it's pretty much the same codes every time that I'm still working with that problem but uh, it doesn't make it where I break down and can't go anymore. Now I figure out how to how to keep going. So we're gonna um, that's how I diagnose my van's problem. I have an oil leak. I wanted to know what it was. A fluid leak. I didn't know if it was oil or power steering because I had just had my tires were all out of whack. So I didn't know if it was something in my power steering, you know, and, uh, but it ended up being engine oil. So then is that serious? We, we try to diagnose, figure out where it's coming from. And that actually took me a couple weeks of looking at this and stopping and cleaning off and, you know, waiting and driving. And so it took me several weeks to, uh, actually, pretty sure where it's coming from don't see any other parts where it would be coming from and now I'm going to go online because I have the internet and uh, look it up a little bit more get the part and uh, and fix it in the future all right so I have looked up the part and we have oil filter housing Mercedes parts here Ooh, only $116 and uh, it is a whole part, and then maybe I have to buy the gasket separate in this one. Um, then I also looked it up on this website, and it has the seal. It says the gasket or seal, which is found between the upper and lower sections of the housing is not available as a separate part on this website. Here's what it looks like. And this says the seal is, comes with this one for 139 So like I said, I'd have to have my oil and oil filter and, and it looks like this part. But it looks like if you're not sure, you could always call them. They have a number and always correct parts, guaranteed fitments. So if you're not sure, and it also says what part number it replaces. So if you can see a number on there, that would help. All right, so I hope this video helps some of you. Uh, even if you have minimum mechanical experience, you can figure out problems on your own. So if you do have to take it into a shop, you're at least not clueless on what's the matter and you have an idea how much it would cost. So hope this helps some of you and we are going to get this fixed in the future. And thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already.